Okay, this is a first video in a series about upgrading the FCB 1010 with the LG FCB Upgrade Kit. This Upgrade Kit is actually an electronics board which adds a lot of power to the FCB 1010. For those who know the Gordius line of products, uh, this board is actually the engine of a gorgeous little giant which has been redesigned to fit inside the housing of an FCB 1010. Now the first step in upgrading is replacing the FCB 1010 firmware EEPROM with a new one which communicates with that electronics board. So in the video you see I'm opening the housing, this is removing a lot of screws, I think 16 in total, so that you can remove the bottom plate just be careful because there's still a ground wire attached to it so you can just flip it over and lay it next to the housing. Now comes the hardest part which is removing the original EEPROM from the socket because most of the time it's really hot glued into the socket so that's what you see here I'm removing the dot of hot glue just be careful not to damage anything, not to damage the board while doing so um, then just place the screwdriver between socket and EEPROM to lift it out of the socket. I'm doing this now at one side, then I go to the other side to do the same. First remove the dot of hot glue and then wiggle the screwdriver until the EEPROM pops out of its socket. There I go. My hand is covering everything, but I'm just getting rid of the hot glue now. I guess you will see it in a minute. As I just said, this is really the, hard, the hardest part of the whole upgrade. Because you need to be careful not to damage anything in the neighborhood of that EEPROM. Ok, here we go. Try to lift it out of the socket. Both sides at the same time. And there it is. Now we are ready to install the new firmware, which is part of the upgrade kit. But before you insert the new EEPROM, you have to do one thing, and that is bend all the pins a little bit inwards so that they are exactly in a 90 degree angle. This is what I'm doing right now. I just push the hole I see on the table so that all pins are in a perfect angle. And then it will be very easy to insert it into the sockets. And here I was pointing at the notch which indicates the top of the EEPROM. You need to align that with the notch which you see on the socket is the side of that big capacitor, so don't use the label to decide on the orientation of the EEPROM. Now I'm just gently pushing the EEPROM into the socket. Don't push too hard in order not to damage the board. And that's it. Now it's time to check if this firmware upgrade is successful before we continue with uh, installing the new main board. So I close the housing, don't uh, use any screws just uh, in order to be able to apply power and then all we can check is actually if there is a uh, three dashes appearing on the display which means that the firmware is starting all right and yes that looks okay so we're ready for the next step in the next video